Tory Smith. Thank you because you said the same exact thing that I said when we talked about this weeks ago when the rumors about Baltimore being interested in Chase Young first came out. Team keep it clean. <laughs> Before we get into this, hey, shout out to Tylen Wallace for, for officially making the Ravens 53-man roster. After he swung on Emmanuel Forbes, R Ravens got no choice but to keep him as wide receiver six. Anyway... The Ravens, you know they having joint practices with the Commanders right now. And the, the Ravens media team, shout out to them, by the way. They are live streaming the event. Uh, we got to give a shout out to them because they continue to provide us with access that they really don't have to give us access to, but they go above and beyond for Ravens fans. This is one thing that we definitely appreciate about them. So shout out to them. Shout out to the chat. The chat in the Ravens live stream right now is extremely funny. Um, but anyway, Tori Young. They had him on there. You know, Torrey Young, he's he's always coming back to the Ravens. He's always at M&T Bank Stadium, always at Owens. He's always doing something with the Ravens. Um, Super Bowl champion, by the way, had a big impact on that season and other seasons too. But anyway, Torrey Smith, he was on there talking. And he was saying that he hopes a certain defender with long hair who's on the commanders right now ends up becoming a Raven very, very soon. And that defender that he was talking about without naming any names, because he didn't name any names, he was like, oh, no, I ain't doing that. But he didn't name any names, but he was talking about Chase Young. And, of course, we heard the rumors weeks ago that the Ravens were interested in Chase Young. And we know that the Ravens have been looking around for help uh, at edge. They brought in Jadavian Clowney. Uh, they tried to sign Jadavian Clowney. They, they, they brought in uh, Dwayne Smoot. Uh, and they've had other people, Kyle Vannoy, they've had other people that they've been interested in, but they haven't been able to close the deal yet. That's why I really do believe that Chase Young, while it may be a small possibility, it still is a possibility. Something that Torrey Smith said, and it may sound a little familiar, he talked about when the Ravens had joint practices with the 49ers back when he was still with the Baltimore Ravens. And he said at those joint practices, the GMs, they get to see you up close. Coaches, they get to see players up close. They get to see how you practice, how you work, and then they can look at film and everything too. And then they'll talk to you too. He said that he ended up uh, just, he was passing by. I think he was passing by, whether he said Bashadi or passing by Harbaugh or something, but he was passing by one of the Ravens coaches, the front office guys, and he ended up talking to the, the 49ers GM. And the 49ers GM had told him, like, hey, Tori, I really like how you work. I really like how you work. I like how you practice. You, you, you do pretty good. And guess where Tory Smith ended up signing the very next year? And Tory Smith said it was because they got to see him up close. They got to see him up close and personal at the practice. This is the exact same thing that we said a couple of weeks ago. When we talked about the rumor about the Ravens being interested in Chase Young, I said, if it's going to happen, then I would expect it to happen after they have the joint practice. If it's going to happen, because hey, we will see, but I would expect it to happen after they have the joint practices. Reason being because this is them getting an up close and personal look at Chase Young. Seeing what type of shape Chase Young is in. Seeing if he still got it. Seeing if he will be good to go. Talking to Chase Young. Getting to know him. Talking to him personally. Because you're not only going to get to see him practice over these next couple of days. And we'll see if the Ravens end up live streaming it tomorrow. That would be great. Ravens with no pressure. But that would be nice. But with Chase Young, they're going to get to see him practice. But then maybe. Well, probably not. But I was going to say they, they might get to see him play on Monday Night Football when the Ravens play the Commanders. But will he play? I, I, I don't know. No clue about that. But you'll get to see him practice. And you'll get to not only talk to him directly. You could talk to his teammates directly. You could talk to his coaching staff directly. You could see him in one-on-one -on -one drills. You could see him in on 11-11. You could see him on 7-on-7. Seven -seven. You could see him in all of that stuff. So you get an extensive look at somebody who you are rumored Hey, we don't know if it's true or not But they get to get an extensive look at somebody who they are rumored Or were rumored to have been interested in And that being Chase Young So that could help you make an even better informed decision uh, If you are going to make this decision to try to acquire him And then, again, you, you your, your team is in the building The Washington Commanders is in the building So if Eric DaCosta want to talk to that GM or whatnot They can have that conversation and you know, like, you know what Eric DaCosta, and I'm sure other GMs do it too, but you know what Eric DaCosta, he always checking. He always checking, even if he may not even have an intention on making a move, but he's always checking on stuff, always checking in, always finding out, well, well what the requirements would be, or what the, uh, the, the interest level of the team, getting rid of a certain player may be. 
And again, we got to remember that teams are at 90 men right now. So teams are going to have to get rid of 90 minus 53. What is that? Four, no, 37? 37? I think that's 37. Yeah. They're going to have to get rid of 37 players uh, in a little less than a month. 37 players. That's a lot of people. So what, what I mean when I say that is that teams are not fully where they're going to be at yet. They're, they're not finalized yet. And even after they go from 90 to 53, they're still going to be making some roster moves. And then, of course, throughout, they're still going to be roster moves throughout the season and whatnot, too. But it's a possibility, man. It's a possibility. It may not be super, super, super likely anything like that, but it is still something that the commanders may consider. We don't know. But we'll see how it goes. But anyway, let me get back to the live stream now. Let me get back to the, the chat because it's, it's been really fun, man. And I think the Ravens... um. Oh, there was another fight, too. <laughs> okay, okay. Morgan Moses got into a fight with somebody. And, oh, Mark Andrews and Deron Payne, they got into a fight. Oh, boy, they just say hey, that. That's joint practices, though. That's joint practices. That stuff is going to happen. I mean, it happens when players are practicing alone, I mean, with their own team. But in, in joint practices, it definitely happens, too. Because, again, you got two different cultures. Coming together, you got two different families coming together, and it's football, so it's physical. It's extremely physical. It's these men trying to get the best of this other man across from them, and it's going to get chippy sometimes. So the fact that these guys are fighting and whatnot, it's nothing new. It's no surprise. It ain't no shock or anything like that. But sure, it's, it's, it's all love. It's all love at the beginning and the end of the day. They just going through some tough love right now. So they'll hug it out. They'll be all right. John Harbaugh gave him a nice little speech. Ron Rivera chip in too. But then Harbaugh going to be like, look, Ron, you step to the side. I got it. Y'all in Owens Mills. Y'all on my home turf right now. So you go move somewhere. I don't even know where the commanders practice at. I almost called them their old name. I always almost do that, man. I think that petition that I keep seeing going around on Twitter and stuff, that's just that's, that's messing me up. Anyway. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. Because, again, y'all already know stuff has been crazy. You know stuff has been crazy already. And it's, it's only going to get crazier. So subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on. Leave a like on the video if you like what you see. I, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. I thank you all for supporting so much. Chase Young. Hey, Torrey Smith said it. Torrey Smith said it. So if, if Torrey Smith say it, man, like, make him happy. Because Torrey Smith even talked about he, he talked about with Chase Young He said that he was at some event At Ohio State I, I forgot what it was I think he said it might have been A charity event or something He was at some event And he said Chase Young came up to him And was like Man I used to watch you Growing up I, Growing up I, I used to watch you Remember when you had the dreads And stuff And Torrey Smith was like Nah I'm not that old now I'm not that old And it's crazy Because Well you, you know Torrey Smith He retired early He retired really 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 early um, and when we were watching him on the live stream just now with the Ravens and stuff, I, I mean, I'm like, man, he, he look like he can still play. He look like he can still play. And he, uh, so, yeah, man, it, we didn't watch his whole career, even though his his career was short, but he accomplished a lot. Torrey Smith is a two time Super Bowl champ. Two times. Forget about the one with the Eagles, man. But yeah, because we obviously we Ravens fans, we remember what, everything that he did for the Ravens. But he won the Super Bowl again. With Philly So he got to experience that twice And he played for what Four teams I think He played for the Ravens And the 49ers The Panthers And the Eagles Yeah I don't think he played for anybody else Besides them But Torrey Smith was that guy man Torrey Smith um, Just And we're gonna talk about Zay Flowers later too But Zay Flowers Brings something that Torrey Smith Brought to the Ravens Back when he played and we'll discuss that when we talk about Zay Flowers. We out.